where it had been snowing and raining earlier in the day. That vast bank of people there, which indeed was the Birmingham end for this game, as we set the scene for the FA Cup semi-final between Fulham, underdogs with the bookmakers, and Birmingham City from the First Division. A 55,000 crowd that had paid over £100,000 for the privilege of being here. Birmingham City first out, led by Howard Kendall, a side whose form had been none too convincing in the last few weeks, but one with a wealth of First Division experience to call upon. And indeed, manager Freddie Goodwin has banked on experience. He's brought Gary Pendry in at number three, made sure there was a place for John Roberts at six, glad to have Trevor Francis back again and fit at number eight. As for Fulham, what a run they've had, led out by Alan Mullery, a team that's lost only one of its last 17 games. They've got the winning habit and they are full of confidence. So confident, in fact, that manager Alex Dock boldly announced his side some two days before any of the other semi-finalists. And his side, in fact, includes John Mitchell at number seven, whose two goals at Norwich last Monday won him his place. John Dowie is a substitute there. Other than that, Fulham will be at full strength for this most vital match at Hillsborough in Sheffield. So Bob Matthewson gets the semi-final away. Fulham will be attacking the goal to our right in their lucky shirts of red and black stripes with black shorts. The same shirts that they wore at Everton and at Carlisle, and indeed they are the same shirts. They didn't buy themselves a new strip for this semi-final. That's how far their superstition has gone. Birmingham today in their usual colours of blue with that broad white stripe. Lacey versus Burns and Burns got the touch. Gallagher. But Barrett now, the man who scored the winner at Carlisle. Slough going in. Gallagher again getting his head to it. Gallagher once more. And a throw to four. This page. A few nerves showing there as well in the Birmingham side. Les Strong getting in first. What a good ball by Strong now for Busby. He's got Mitchell in the middle. Busby with a shot in. Latchford had to go down with three minutes gone to make a very important save from Viv Busby. Good, strong running, attacking this Birmingham defence all the time, Busby. And he got inside them well, and Latchford did superbly. Strong, Mitchell, good strong challenge, but an unfair one there, said referee Matthewson by Gallagher, it's with Barrett, curled in towards Busby, but a good strong challenge again there by Roberts, here's Bobby Moore, Fulham having a good spell at the moment, pressing Birmingham back, that's a lovely ball there by Strong, and it's curled in again, and it almost came for Mitchell. But now Birmingham can counter-attack through Gordon Taylor. Hatton away on his left, and that's the ball for Hatton, and what a good one it was. And Miller putting it round. Goal kick though, I think. Goal kick. The ball. Well, there's an indication there of what Fulham can do down that flank. Slough with a long shot just over the bar. Moore. Mitchell. Barrett's made the run and a beautifully timed ball there from Mitchell for Barrett. And another free kick for Fulham. And Birmingham are giving so many free kicks away on the edge of their area now. So Mullery now with this free kick for Fulham. Driven in there and that time Latchard had to dive down. Francis making a quick jinking run towards him. Here's Francis. Left foot shot and it him over that Fulham crossbar. And Birmingham are claiming I think that that hit a Fulham hand. Let's have a look. Jinking run by Francis. And the deflection over the crossbar. Lacey getting in well, but rather misdirecting that header, just as uh, Kendall did that pass. Mitchell now on the ball again for Fulham. Really attacking Gallagher. He's obviously been told to go at this Birmingham defence, and that's just what he's doing. Mullery supporting. Slough getting a right foot shot in, but three or four yards wide. 
claiming that the challenge by Mitchell was a little late but the referee told him to go on and another bad pass by Kendall going straight to Barrett he's really running at Gallagher again and almost got past him but at least got a corner for Fuller Slough having it knocked off the top of his head but Lacey is there for Fulham played back again for Bobby Moore Mullery Curled in nicely there for Mitchell. Oh, and what a screaming goal! Mitchell! 1-0 to Fulham! What a goal for Fulham! And he wants to get into the crowd to join them. Bobby Moore now. Flicks it in. Mallory helps it on his way. And enjoy this moment again, Fulham fans, as Slough plays it for Mitchell. A tremendous volley. And 1-0 to Fulham. Five minutes of the second half gone. And Mitchell, the man who was the surprise selection, who scored those two goals last Monday at Norwich, has hit one of the best goals of his career to put Fulham 1-0 into the league. Well, that really only confirms what Fulham were doing in the first half when they dominated this game. And now it's a question of them keeping their nerve and their heads and consolidating and perhaps finding a place at Wembley. The hard work belongs to Birmingham now. Goal kick to Fulham. The Birmingham hordes are silent now. That was a tremendous goal by Mitchell. They are the silent Midlanders and they are the jubilant people from West London. A long way back by Gallagher to Latchford who had little chance with that searing shot from Mitchell. Moore's header needs to be a steadying influence. Mitchell is in there again. Busby played off for Barrett and away he goes that flying winger again for Fulham. In for Busby. Back for Barrett, played into the path of Slough. Oh, and what a tremendous shot, deflected over his own crossbar by Roberts. And a brilliant Fulham move again. Corner for Fulham. And now Kendall, really got to get his side together. Offside against Francis, he's offside. Mallory with the free kick. Seeing that Conway was in space down that right touchline. Fulham using their wings well at the moment. Conway across now for Busby. Couldn't quite gather it. Moore. Really making a superhuman effort here tonight, today. Francis, Kendall, Birmingham pushing some men forward now, here's Hatton, one of them, oh and this might fall for Kendall, oh across the goal, no goal, and a goal kick to Campbell, and back for Page, chipped in again towards Burns, Gallagher's right in there, and Gallagher scored, 1-1, one, one. forward now Campbell incredible that Birmingham having made not a chance for themselves in the first half having gone behind made two in the space of three minutes and have taken one of them 
Didn't get themselves a corner there, though. The one bad miss by Campbell, and in many ways an identical one by Gallagher, which he managed to push home. Slough, nicely kept in play there by Les Strong, and Busby on his way. Slough supporting him down the left. What a good cup tie now we've got. And a corner for Fulham. 19-year-old Scott, but now Fulham have got this corner. Page following it out. Only getting it away as far as Slough. Played now for Fraser. And another throw, and I think Fulham will get John Dowie on. Lace his head up. Finding it a little more difficult to get it away now, Fulham. And now here's Kendall for Birmingham. Got that across well, and that went into the side netting and behind for the corner. Page with the corner for Birmingham. Mitchell got it away, but only as far as Howard Kendall. Dinked forward again there towards Campbell. Fraser got that one away. Mullery now for Fulham. Moore. Mullery. Push by Mitchell on Gallagher, free kick to Birmingham. 1-1. One, one. Kendall's backward header. Oh, and Hatton was right in there. Fulham allowed him to go a long, long way. Really must keep a very close watch on players like Hatton in that... It's with Strong. To Bobby Moore. Mullery. Busby, oh, a free kick again, the foul by Roberts on Busby. As strong is up there too, but Moore with a little chip. Oh, and Birmingham were in trouble there. And finally, by sheer weight of numbers, they got out of that spot of bother. Latchford again, really not dominating that six-yard area. And Birmingham got a player injured and off the field. Taylor. Page. Strong. I think it's Kenny Burns who's down. Well, he was all over Mitchell there. And a pity in a way, having said that, that the referee didn't allow the play to go on. Burns is back on the field again. Slough with a shot, and Burns, oh, who just come back on, in fact, got right in the way of it. Curled in again, Bob Hatton got that one away for Birmingham. Kendall helping it on its way. More for Fulham. Page, straight to Strong. Curled in once more, Lacey was right in there. Slough is still in there. And Lacey, and Busby, and Slough. And Lacey and Busby again. Oh, it went wide again. Off for Birmingham defender. Strong. More. Look at that. That really was the nerve of a great player there. He was playing as almost as though it was in a public park. But now Barrett for Fuller. There's the cross, a dangerous looking one, and it had him in trouble there again. Taylor maybe can get it away. Pass Dowie. And now a counter thrust from Birmingham. Francis up. Here he is. Hatton up on the far side. Kenny Burns linking up. In a rather deeper position. Still getting in his shot. Off Lacey. But still no corner. Play for Page. Mullery. Oh, Kendall bringing uh, Mitchell down. Not far from being a professional foul. And I think Kendall might be called towards Bob Mathewson. Curled in once more towards Lacey. Oh, and straight into the arms that time of Latchford. Oh, 
Kendall. Maybe Birmingham will have something to say as the referee looks at his watch again. Francis. Still Francis. And that's too high. And that is the final whistle. And so the game has got to go to a replay.